What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 21. We are looking pretty good here. I did take some time to kind of look around. I found an area that might make a good horde base. I'm not really sure. We'll kind of see about that. I've also broken out this part right here, so I should be safe from the zombies, I guess. Uh, what I want to do right now is grab a tier two quest, but the trader is not open yet. So let me show you what I got going on here with the cooking. Now, stuff like, whoo, stuff takes so long to cook now. Like ages and ages. Look, it's 21 bottles of water, 17 minutes. The seven bacon and eggs took like, I don't even know how long, like 21 minutes or something like that. It's crazy. So plan ahead with your food and drink, you know, because uh, you don't want to get caught out or anything. Um, I would like some red tea, but I don't seem to have any of the red tea or the, uh, the what are they called, chrysanthemums to make red tea. So I don't see any in the immediate area. I don't want to make this whole thing about going out to get red tea, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to head to the trader. And as I see the red flowers, if I see the red flowers, I will punch them uh, for profit. <laughs> All right. And I think this is the way I usually get down. Beautiful. Awesome. I am going to have to start thinking about a horde base at some point. Uh, I, I haven't made a horde base. I haven't designed a horde base in years. Uh, the actual horde mechanics, for those of you new to the game, there's like a, the reason it's called seven days dies because every seven days, um, a horde of zombies will come in. Right. And, um, it'll be like a blood moon, like for the whole night. Right. I think it starts at 2200 and ends at four, at least on my settings. And here, here's the thing. Uh, it hasn't really the, the, the base designs like the, the or not the base designs. People have come up with new bases all the time, but the mechanics haven't really changed in quite a while. I think they're kind of done with changing the horde mechanics. So what we got is what we got. And because of that, I haven't like built a new horde base in a long time. Now I'm going to make a horde base, but I'm not going to like go all out because what ha this is what this is what will happen. I've, I've been playing this game since 2013. So I kind of know what's going to happen here. What's going to happen is I'm going to research the heck out of it. I'm going to make an unbeatable horde base, and it's going to be a less exciting horde night. I think instead of doing that, I'm going to do what I think will work, and we'll see how it goes. How about that? I'm going to, like, I'm going to, I'm just going to build what I think will work, and if it works, great. If it doesn't, well, that's my ass. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I think, um, so if I want to, like, plant crops now, right? They're, like, what does living off the land do for me? So living off the land gives me twice, the, I think for one point, that's worth it. Just one straight up point. I think that's worth it, personally. And then farm plots are easier to craft. What did it take for farm plots? Farm blocks. Okay, so just about the same. Probably almost exactly the same. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm wasting so much time, I'm not. I'm waiting for the trader to open. So here's an, here's another thing. You might notice the, uh, the 60 FPS on my screen. If you want to use that in your game. Okay. If you want to put that up in your game, it's F8. And I don't normally keep it up there because, I don't know, some people don't like it. It's, you know, it's a little immersive, immersive breaking. But I am going to keep it up for a little bit because, you know, some people are interested in the frames. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm getting, I have not, like, really dropped below. I mean, like, 58 here and there. But I think I've been pretty much 60 frames a second since I started this series. So we'll see how that goes. This is not an exactly huge town. But it's a decent town. I mean, it's not a bad town. So... Let's go get our first tier two quest, people. All right. Quickly. What do you got for me? All right, I'll take that one. Why am I running around when I have a bicycle? Oh, cage. Cage, cage, cage. What are we gonna do with you? <laughs> I'm sitting here running around. And I'm like, I'm like, man, I don't want to take a quest that's too far. I don't have a bike. And I'm like, wait, I do have a bike. Why am I on my feet? Well, actually, you know what? I take it back. I was right to not take the bike. Guys, I'm always right. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. No, honestly, though, like, don't take the bike because I was getting chrysanthemums. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's drop these off here really quickly before we head out to the to the quest. Here we are at our first tier two, and I'm a little hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and eat some bacon and eggs. But, oh, I should have looted that and then started the quest. Pretty Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, I should have looted that and then started the quest. Oh, well, what are you going to do? All right. Again, I don't like roofs because of the vultures. But I also don't like going slow. I can't win. I'm not seeing any vultures. I guaranteed a vulture on every roof. Just something I, I worry about. Boom goes the head. Uh, I gotta keep an eye on my water. If you, The lower your water gets this... Oh, here we go. Hold on. Alright, cool. The lower your water gets, the <clears throat> worse your stamina 
is. So I gotta keep an eye on that. Also, um, I need to keep an eye on ammo. Ammo is another thing. Um, also, infection stuff. I'm gonna be fighting a lot of vultures. I'm gonna want to be able to cure infection. Oh, hold on. All right, there we go. Stabby, stabby. There we go. Uh, because I want to be able to cure infection. You get, it's very easy to get hit by a vulture. They have like an increased infection thing. At least I think they do. I don't know. I, I'm just kind of guessing about that. It kind of feels like they do. Uh, so, did I bring stone with me? Yes, I did. Good. Good, good, good. Let's grab this. We're going to be doing horde-based stuff. We'll grab these when we can. Those are definitely not as good as they used to be. Unfortunately. Uh, this is uh, just the white versus supplies. Oh, someone told me that Alpha 20, it took two eggs to make bacon and eggs. I mentioned that in the beginning of the of the series that, oh, now it takes two eggs. But it, apparently it's taken two eggs for a while. I don't know when that changed. I don't know. I don't know. Usually I just say, oh, I need bacon and eggs. And I just make as many as I can. And that's that. Is that really the way I'm supposed to go? That looks like a freaking death trap, dude. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, did I leave my arrows at home or what? Arrows. Uh, let's just make um, 20. <clears throat> I don't want to go crazy with the arrows. Okay, here we go. Not much of a death trap if they don't wake up. Thank goodness. Now, normally, like, later on when I got guns and stuff, I'm like, oh, you know, whatever. But at this point, like, yeah, that's not... That's no... is no bueno. Oh, goodness, I didn't even see her there. Did not even see you there, you sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky bee. I just one-shot her? Holy crap. I'm a badass. Tires. They put they did put tires all over the place. If you're looking for polymer, I mentioned this last last episode of the episode before. I think it was the episode before, but I mentioned a lot. If you're looking for polymer for that first dew collector, every single tire gives five polymer. Am I supposed to break through here? I don't think so. No, I didn't think so. Just making sure. Uh let's loot this stuff. Cabinets. Someone said that when you loot stuff now, they open up. Uh, the cabinets don't seem to do it, but other things do. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Oh, more chrysanthemums. I actually like that. Me likey chrysanthemums. The cool thing about chrysanthemums, they have an effect. If it's if it's, I haven't looked at the effect on chrysanthemums in a long time. But when I did look at the effects on chrysanthemums, they made it so you don't have to eat as much. They're like an appetite suppressor type thing. So that's why I like chrysanthemum tea. Or red tea. I don't know why it's not called chrysanthemum tea. I mean, I know it's because it's red, but. <laughs> okay. Grab that. Here about yucca stuff. I'm getting spear parts because I put points into my spear tech, you know? Uh, so whenever you put points in a, a certain, you know, thing like spears, you'll start getting more of those parts in loot. Uh, I'm gonna wear that, but I'm gonna save that sweatshirt because I might want to go to the snow biome at some point And I might want to start building up a, a snow biome set of clothes My winter clothes Damn it, so I'm too late I don't like this Damn it, stop moving There you go. That's what you get. I knew there'd be someone in there. I just didn't see that until it was too late. There go. I'm going to need the, this uh, rotten flesh for making farm plots. So I don't think zombies will attack farm plots. They never did. They never did at any time I've made them. Although I haven't made them in a while. So we'll see. Ooh, that's nice. Hmm. Someone around here. Huh. Is this where I came through the first time? No. Okay. Kind of looked like it, but not so much. 
You can see that little spear thing on the bottom left-hand side of my screen. I got like built up spear damage or whatever. I don't know exactly how it works. Um, I used to know. I just haven't I haven't looked at it in a long time. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm going to drop some of this stuff because it just doesn't, doesn't seem worth it. You know what? Why don't we do this? And then we'll drop this. I think I'm pretty close to a desert biome, so. And also, eh. Can I make coffee? Yes, I can. All right, I'll hold on to the coffee stuff then. That will really come in handy on Horde Night. Or when I decide to go, you know, 1.8 kilometers. Freaking halfway across the map to get to my next trader. Please. Go ahead and just eat this. Get it out of there. Same thing with this. Oh, maybe not. Or... Our food isn't actually that low. I feel like food's going down slower. Can anyone confirm that? It does feel like it's going down slower. Maybe it's just because I'm aware of it. I'm paying attention to it. Who knows? I like to pick up chairs. It's a nice, easy, passive way of getting wood. Takes like two seconds. Let's see what's in here. Oh, finally. I might take, I saw that I had multiple options for, um, for helmet lights when I was, when I was editing videos, not just the one I noticed, but there was others that I didn't notice. I think next time I get the option for a helmet light, I'm going to not get the magazines and get the helmet light. Damn it. Oh man. I really screwed the pooch there. All right. Oh, hold on. Big boy. Edgar doesn't seem as bad as badass as he used to be. Actually, I'll look at my skills later. Not looking at him in the middle of a POI. Oh, got any money in here? All right, a couple dukes. Not gonna say no to that. Uh, let's get some water since we can't get water any other way. <laughs> How are you supposed to mass produce water? Like, there's no way to do it, right? Like, you just have to make like ten dew collectors, or I'm trying to think. Like, because you need water to make the um, you need water to make the 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 glue. So. It's not just about drinking, so, yeah. Like, I'm okay on water for now, and I think I'll be okay survival-wise, but when I want to make glue and stuff, it's going to be an issue. Got it. Oh, yep. Damn it. I didn't expect for them to be in the... in the freaking ceiling. Come on, guys. So I think that special bonus is power attack bonus of some kind. Alrighty. Let's loot him up. I'm going to be so freaking slow. Although I do have my bike. So shouldn't be that big of a deal. Scrap. Take that. I think, you know, I can make ammo now too. Like all I need is like a workbench, right? If I could like not throw away gunpowder like I've been doing. Uh, vehicles. And what the hell is that? Oh, cool. Herbal antibiotics. I thought they were green. I guess they changed it. Uh, whatever. Art of mining. Like that. Can I put that in? No, these only have one slot. This has nothing in it, though. Oh, improve fittings. Wait. Modifier. Hmm, I guess you can only put that in certain- I thought you could put that in anything. I don't know. What else? It's fine. It's fine. Let's finish looting. Turn this quest in. I'm, I'm slower completing the quest now because I'm looting everything because of the new update. So, <laughs> it is what it is, you know? I'm gonna keep the lead too. I'm gonna start keeping everything. The hell with it. If maybe- maybe if- maybe if it really bothers me- Oh, I see that way that opened up. Maybe if it really starts to bother me, I'll do drop chests. But I kind of want to keep stuff now because I can make ammo. Like, I mean, I guess maybe you can make ammo before. I just never made ammo before. I never really needed to. So, at least not in the early game. But maybe it'd be nice to make ammo in the early game now. All right, where was that button? There it is. Beautiful. Awesome POI. Oh, wait. Let me go find the White River Supplies because that's what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh boy. How many people, let me know in the comments how many people thought I was going to forget the white verse supplies. Be honest. I, I wouldn't blame you if you did. Oh. 
vehicles, electric wiring. Learn how to enhance uh, robot. Yeah, I don't care about that. Let's see what we get here. Um, first aid, forged. Wow, forged steel. <clears throat> I think this is a magazine thing. What do I need forged steel for? Nothing like right now. Um, but I might want to start saving it up. I have a decent amount of health items, I think, relatively. I mean, should we do kind of I think we're going with crafting skill magazine. All right, buddy. Uh, what about this one right here? This fetch. Mason's barn. Sounds good to me. Let's see what we get for magazines. Uh, what is it to use? A okay. A uh, shotgun. Tool crafting. Blade crafting. Alrighty then. You know, my base is so close, I don't even think I'm going to, like, use the drop chest. Let me go back to my base, drop everything off at my base. Uh, I almost want to put, a like, a drop chest outside my base so I don't have to go up into it. You know what? That's a good idea. Let me do that. I don't remember what was in this field, but I remember this being a nasty POI. Um, so, I'm going to try to be a little bit careful. It would just smoke something up. That's okay. All right, buddy. Oh boy, woke a few things up. Okay, well, not exactly the sneakiest, you know, person in the world. All right, let's just start the quest then. Here you are. What's up, bro? What do we got here? This is a fine white white river supplies. Hey, how's it going? Ain't seen you in a while. Oh, I guess that's not a. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Where is it? Where's the? Oh, it went away. I'm gonna when I'm during the night. I'm gonna look into that spear book and see what it actually gave me. Because what I'm getting right now, that like little you know spear attack bonus, that is 100% from the spear book that I got. I don't know when, but it's quite a while ago though, because I've had it for a while. Be a little careful in here. I'm worried about like boars and um, vultures. Actually, hold on. All right. We thread the needle here. A little low. Okay, cool. Looking good. If you're interested in this kind of sneak attack thing, I don't know how it's going to work in Alpha 21. But in Alpha 20, I did an agility build, which is uh, all sneak attacks. Like you just kind of, you just kind of go through, and you you're unseen, and you just assassinate everything. And I'm telling you right now, in Alpha 21, if it is not changed for Alpha, and if it has not been changed for Alpha 21, and it is the same as in Alpha 20, it is the most OP, insane build I have ever done in this game, and it's not even close. It's even good for Horde Knight because you can uh, do explosive bolts. Whoops. Yeah, it's it's unfreaking believable, guys. Like just. Yeah, if you're if you're doing the sneak build again in Alpha 20, if you were doing the sneak build, you could like have a zombie find you, and you could run around the corner and duck, especially if it's nighttime. And, and like we're talking max level, like you got all your sneak skill and it's all max, right? But at max level, you could like run around a corner and duck, and they'll come around the corner and lose you and just walk around right in front of you, and they don't even know you're there. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah. Get tired of the sneak thing though. <laughs> it, it is a little snow. It is a little slow in the beginning. I thought there was something really bad here, like um, landmines or dogs or maybe not dogs. You know, I think it was. Yep, there they are. All right. Yep. We have boars. Hold on, let's see if I can stab him through this. Like well, can. There we go. Arrow back, please. And then let's get this one. These guys are gonna give a lot of meat, so you gotta get them. You don't have to, but you want to. Come on, buddy. Stick your big fat snap through the wall. Alright, whatever. Got me a couple times. It was probably a stupid move on my part. Definitely a little reckless, but it's all right. All right, got that one. 
Hell yeah, bro. All right, let's get him up. It looks like we got an OP over there. I call him OP because he used to look like OP from uh, uh, from Sons of Anarchy before they redid the, the model. But I still call him OP because force of habit. All right, Ope. We're going to do this. Hold on, Ope. I got to get some stamina. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and drink. Hey! Hey! That's my kill. What a dick. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. What's your problem? There you go. That's what you get. He's a tough one. He's got, like, armor ratings and stuff. Just all kinds of... All kinds of toughness on Opie. I want to shovel that, but not if there's not more in here. You know what I mean? So, oh yeah, there's definitely more. I'll do it off camera, though. All right. Oh, look at you. Well, look at you. There we go. Big Mama's no joke. Does she give as much experience as Opie? Yep. <clears throat> she definitely does. Yo. Oh, there's my thing. Now, I could go right now, but I kind of want to get the the supplies. So I will continue going through here, but I will also turn up the brightness for you a little bit. I'm gonna get the head. I'm gonna get the 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 light, the helmet light, as soon as I can. Now, I probably I kind of wish I took it honestly, but that's okay. Magazines are awesome. There you are. Come on down here. Yeah, bro, I got reach. I got reach for days. There's definitely gonna be someone in here. No. Well. Okay. Well, <laughs> there you go. Not anyone in here. Up there is the loop, by the way. Gotta come over this way. Over this way, there'll probably be a couple guys over there. Yeah, one big mama. Alright. And we'll just hold off and stab her the rest of the way. Please don't fall. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'll get you on the way out. <laughs> and... Alright. Not too bad. I think I got better armor than that. And yeah, she's making she's making her way back up here. She'll get back up here eventually fall again. All right, not too bad. I went ahead and dug up every single node in that area. It didn't even take that long. And this is what I came out with. That There was like 400 nitrate in there, which is incredible. I also got a little bit of everything else. You know, nothing great, but it all adds up. This will be a lot more stomachable or uh, feasible or I don't know. It'll be a lot more smooth when I have more inventory room and when I can dig stuff quicker. Which is why I did, I think last episode, I put two points on minus six and I, it really helped a lot. All right. Sure it. Darn it. Oh, should I take that fire axe? Oh, goodness. I don't really think I should I need to take the fire axe. I want those herbal antibiotics too, like getting infected. I don't have much in the way of not getting infected. Let me see if he has any uh, things that I can buy that will help me out infection. No, nothing at all. Oh boy, I, you know I really want the magazines, but at the same time, what a guest you'd pull for. All right, I'm gonna take something different. Let's take something different. Just do it different. I really don't want to have to deal with infection. Um, we've got an infested clear, the TJ Morals resin sounds good, and I also want to see how much ammo you have. The guts to do it. Uh, really? Do they do they not sell ammo, or am I just like you know, or am I just you know? Getting unlucky. Uh, is there anything I want to buy? I've actually got a decent amount of money. I'm trying to, I mean, I guess I could buy food and water. That would make sense. Duct tape might be a good thing. 13 duct tape for a thousand. And it seems a little expensive. A little on the expensive side. How about cobblestone? He's still giving away cobblestone. Love it. Uh, no. I know I went through this already. I'm going to go through it again, though. Uh, that's 11.5 and 22.7. This is 11.5. Okay, so this is an upgrade over this, which is nice. I appreciate that. I'm not going to buy it. I'll just make my own when I get there. But yeah, it is ni nice to know that that's an option. Um, do I care about any of these magazines? Tech Planet, Robotics Crafting. 
I'm not doing shotguns. Lucky looter might be pretty good. Um, I mean, I got the money. Why not? Uh, sledgehammer, no. Shotguns, no. A lot of shotgun stuff. Club crafting, explosive crafting, no. Uh, do I want to buy any of this stuff? His stuff is usually pretty expensive. Or overpriced, I should say. Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, antibiotics. All right, cool. I'm just going to buy them. Uh, none of that stuff looks good, and I don't care about that. Well, All right. It's about time you bought something. It is about time. Let's go do another quest. Oh, this building looks familiar. I made a base here not too long ago. A few seasons ago. Wait, tier one? What? Tier one? Tier two? Oh, it's a, it's an infestation quest. Oh, these are the new infestation quests. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read you this from the update notes. We have added a new quest type called Infestation, which starts at Tier 2. This, the, the system takes a supported POI and adds plus 1 to its tier. So this is a Tier 1 POI. This infest Infestation quest is going to make it a Tier 2. In an Infestation quest, the zombie counts are multiplied to create a greater challenge. At the end, it will reward you with a special loot box almost always found in the loot room. This left Tier 5 POI's infestations in a bit of a pickle. Tier 5... Uh, tier 5... POIs as an infestation quest can now be found as a tier six difficulty POI. So there's now tier six difficulties, but this is an infestation. So it's a, it's a basically a tier one quest area, but it's difficulty of a tier two. All right, cool. I'm glad I'm, I get my first uh, infestation quest. They've redone this thing a lot. This doesn't look like when I lived here. All right, uh, these open. Locked. Probably gotta go this way. Yep, that's unlocked. Uh, Alright, cool. Like that. Okay, so that's like four zombies right there. Alright, that's fun. Kind of knock them out as they come through. Oh, hold on. Look at you, you little bugger. Out of stamina. Oh, I gotta eat. That's right. I meant to eat, but I wanted to eat with you guys. You see me eating. All right, it's good enough. Well, let's just do water. There we go. All righty. I'm gonna start keeping like everything. I'm gonna turn into the ultimate hoarder, and it's gonna suck. But like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing this alpha a lot. I'm gonna try and start playing it. <laughs> it's hard to break habits. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to play this alpha different than the other alphas. You know, especially off of, uh, especially off of twenty. I might throw out the hops. <laughs> Already, I'm I'm breaking my own rule. I don't know. I might throw out the hops. We'll see. Working stiff tools. Okay. All right then. Ooh, super water. Mm. What are they think super water out of the game? So nice to have his head hanging over the banister like that. Appreciate that. I really do. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Come on, bro. I know I keep saying this. I really sound like a broken record, but love the spear. Absolutely love it. Uh, improved shotgun, vehicles. Can I make the mini bike yet? I mean, I know I can't because I probably need workbenches and stuff, but... Oh, I can. I just gotta be able to make the stuff. And I'm gonna need... Oh, you need to unlock this? Wait. I, oh, so I could put together the mini bike, but I can't actually do it yet. All right. So we're 14 of 20. I think at 20, we'll probably be able to make the mini bike. So just gotta keep looting. It's exactly what I thought it was gonna be like. All right, let's go scrap those chairs again guys. I'm gonna keep mostly everything Actually, you know what no point in throwing out the hop seeds until we get over until we get encumbered I'm Trying not to say over encumbered And what do you got nothing 
Yeah, I did a series here where I had no hordes, but I had like a, a mod that would bring by super roaming hordes like every so often. It's pretty interesting. Like I turned off Horde Night and then I just had it was basically kind of like random Horde Night, honestly, or random Horde Day it could happen at any point. It could happen. It happened to me when I was in POIs. It was it was pretty nuts. I actually died on that season. I don't usually die. Gotta go outside for this. Anytime you gotta go outside, watch out for the vultures. Uh, wait. Oh, that door's open. Wait, is this where I came out of? <laughs> I don't think so. It looks kind of like the same room and that door's open, but they're not both open. I did open both doors. Oh, okay. So it was open, but there was a, a fake door behind it. I'm so glad I got an infestation quest. I didn't even notice. All right. Oh, beautiful. They have not been changed. Where? Hells to the freaking yeah. Nerd glasses for the win. I don't have any heads to hit. Shoot, I woke something up. All right, well, whatever. Guess we're not going to sneak our way out of this one. And there is an Opie in there, too, which means this is no joke. All right. All right. Yeah. Just fight these guys out here. I'm not dicking around in there. Come on down here, buddy. Let's do this. I hate Green Jacket. He's my nemesis. I don't know why. He always does well against me. Yeah, without guns, forget it. Like, I wouldn't be able to stay in there. No way. Even with the pistol I have, this would not have... Alright, I'm slow in reloading, but I should be okay. Thin them out a little bit. Also, I don't like using pistols, because usually it wakes up a lot of zombies. At least I think it does. I'm pretty sure it does. And, like, I don't need those extra zombies coming in, you know what I mean? Out of stamina. Opie, Opie, Opie. We meet again. Oh, boy. Good thing they make noises. So I did get an abrasion on my knee. A little bruised knee. No big deal. And uh, as you can see, I was bleeding, which is why I used my, my bandages. I feel like I'm hearing somewhere else, but no, I think it's just Opie now. Just me and you, Ope. Opie, it always comes down to just me and you. By the way, I'm gonna get rid of that 60 frames per second thing. It doesn't need to be there. I'm getting, like, it hasn't really dropped. But I feel like it's starting to drop. I'll bring it back up so you guys can see it, but it's just up there for no reason at this point. All right, so there should be an extra loot container in the room. Oh, I actually need shoes. I think that it said that there's another there's another loot container in here. Oh, there it is. No, it's not. Is it this? Oh yeah, infested cash. Dude, that's freaking dope. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. Let's see how good it is. We'll loot it last, of course. Uh medical. And we we'll do this and this. I want some 762. I want to make a I want to make a pipe machine gun. The pistol's good, I just I don't trust it. Wiring. Crafting. Alright, guys, let's see what we get. Not, oh wow. Wow. Okay. Infested quests are the way to go. That is unbel I don't know if that's just an incredibly lucky one, but damn that's good. Put that in there. I don't need to be carrying around one of that. And I think we're good to go. 
Wow, that's awesome. I will be looking for... Did I craft something I didn't want to? No, I don't think so. I will be looking for uh, infested quests moving forward. Let's go turn this in. I had two chances for the helmet light, and I didn't take it either time. Now that I'm looking well, for you, it. You must think you're <laughs> it's a, oh, ergonomic yeah. grip schematic? Uh, yeah. Oh, six. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. Can I make the ergonomic grip, first of all? Ergonomic grip. I think it needs a workbench. Uh, it needs steel. I could probably buy the steel. It's really good. But I don't think I can make it right now. I think you need a workbench for it too, although I can't really tell. This may unlock server. Yeah. I'm not sure if, if it needs a workbench. I'm pretty sure it does. So oh there's plant fiber gloves. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I wonder what other cut all right. Stay focused, kid. Um I'm gonna take the seven six two. Here's some money. I I know, I know. Uh should I take this infested clear now and then do it tomorrow, or should I wait? For one that's closer. I'm going to take it now and do it tomorrow. That way I don't have to wait for the trader to open up. Awesome. All right, let's go back home. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through. Uh, I don't know if this is boring or not. But I'm going to go through all my magazine stuff. Because it's like it comes in so fast that I can't really keep up. And I kind of want to go through it. And I think you guys might be interested in it. If you're not, let me know and I'll stop doing it on camera. But um, I don't know. We'll see. It's just uh, We could just do it from here. All right. So we're at 14 harvesting tools, so we can now make iron tools tier two, which should be an upgrade. It's not like it didn't seem like the spears because they should tell you like what the stats are going to be on something before you make it. Is this going to be better than this? I don't know. And I won't know until I waste the resources on it. So I'd like to see the stats before I make it personally, even if it's like a range. I, I think the tool, I think everything in this game is like a range. So like if it's a range, tell me what the range is going to be. Uh, repair tools. Yeah, it's claw hammer. Uh, actually, I I can, yeah, I can make the claw hammer, which is good. Knuckles don't care. Blades, you know, whatever. Um, spears. Uh, be able to make, the, I mean, I'm not going to make an iron spear until I get to tier three. Just not going to do it. Uh, handguns. I would like to make a pistol. What do I need to make? All right, we'll check on what we need to make a pistol after this. Um, rifles, machine guns. All right, so we can make the pipe machine gun. Uh, medical. We can make bandages and that stuff. None of this stuff really seems that good. Although, uh, being able to make painkillers would be pretty cool. Food. This is what I'm interested in. All right. Can't really do too much yet with, with complex food. I should probably... I, again, the blueberry pie. I, are there the blueberry pie? Yeah. Blueberry pie. I think it, take, it takes eggs. I'm not going to waste eggs on that. Um, the seeds. Uh, those are the seeds I need. So The seeds thing is very small. Like Once you get 12, you're done. It's kind of weird. I've got 20 electrician books and I still can't make anything in there. So I'm getting there. Uh, this is a problem. I need more uh, forge ahead books. That's a problem. Yeah, the forge ahead books would be really, really nice. Let's also empty this out because if it fills up, you're just wasting, you know, time. Just take, I guess. There you go. Probably make a few of these at some point. Uh, I got to keep, uh, keep gathering that polymer. Well, guys, I do think I am going to call this one here. I'm going to spend the night just organizing, get everything inside, just kind of think about what I want to do in the next episode. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the next tier two inf uh, inf infested quest, but I'm also thinking about like uh, um, where I want to put my points and stuff like that. I do have some points, don't I? Yeah, we'll spend those next episode. I really want to like, really want to think about it. And if you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.